kids, I'm going to tell you an incredible story. The story of how I met cameras. Would you believe me if I told you that the first camera to take a permanent photograph was invented a hundred years before the camera was available to the middle class to document daily life? Reportedly, in 1685, Johann Zahn, a German author, proposed a design for what is now known as a handheld reflex camera. However, nobody physically realized the camera until 1816, when Joseph Nisiphor Nips constructed a prototype. But his first images were not permanent, because Nips' camera was so simple and used paper coated with silver chloride, which would produce a negative image because it should have been light, but it was dark. Silver chloride works when exposed to light, but Nips couldn't know that. Nisiphor Nips may have created the first photograph in 1816, but his experiments with camera obscura, an ancient technique for capturing an image using a small hole in the wall of a dark room or box, had been occurring for years. The camera obscura technique was used by many painters in the 16th century to produce some of their works. For example, Caravaggio used the technique in many of his paintings. After Niepce died, his collaborator, Louis Daguerre, continued his obsessive work on creating a permanent set of images. In his work using silver material, he succeeded in making the camera that we call daguerreotypes in 1839. Daguerreotypes produced positive images, unlike the negatives of Niepce. Henry Fox Talbot's calotype, a daguerreotype variant, was also popular. The daguerreotype would be replaced in 1850 by a new wet collodion process, which required treating the plates before using them. This process produced sharper images and required a shorter exposure time. However, the next significant advancement in camera technology came in the creation of film. American entrepreneur George Eastman created the first camera that used a single roll of paper and then celluloid film called the Kodak in 1888. The Kodak camera could capture negative pictures, but they were sharp, like daguerreotypes. At the time, Kodak said, you press the button, we do the rest. Thanks to the popularity of Kodak products and the introduction of other portable cameras, film cameras made using image plate processes obsolete. Between 1905 and 1913, camera companies introduced standalone rolls of 35 millimeter film that could be inserted into and removed from the user's own camera. However, 35 millimeter or 135 film was introduced by the Kodak Camera Company in 1934 and quickly became the standard. Although Kodak has always planned to be a pioneer in camera production as a brand and develops many kinds of products, others have joined the race. In 1999, Nikon released the first professional DSLR that we know today, and in 2004, mirrorless cameras appeared without the need for a mirror, thus reducing the size of the cameras. But actually, the first digital camera was invented in 1975 by an Eastman Kodak American engineer, Steve Sasson. Although Kodak elected not to commercialize Sasson's prototype, the digital camera was the future. While there has been more speculation in the history of the camera than many other inventions, we can see that who inspired whom was more important than who made which first. While most of us today have digital cameras in our pockets, high-quality DSLRs still have a role to play. The history of the camera is long, with many great leaps forward, followed by years of perfecting the technology. Today, we owe a debt of gratitude to these people who have enabled us to preserve our memories, not only in our memory, but also in a way that we can see with our eyes. Curious about the next story? Then turn on notifications so as not to miss the story of how I met movies next week. <laughs>